Y'all know what time it is, man. We are here. NBA 2K23 is officially ours in my hands, and we have our first look at the My NBA Eras mode. In 2K23, I'm going to show you guys the first one, which is Magic versus Bird. There's four total. Uh, there's three that are like never seen before, obviously, uh, which I'll show you guys. I'm going to make a video separate for each single one of them. So if you haven't already, man, subscribe to the channel with notifications on. Drop a like. Subscribe. I already said that. And, and comment down below uh, just what you think about the game so far. We are dropping so much content as you can tell i am losing my mind because i am exhausted but i'm not stopping until we get all the content out bro we are charged up let's get it so here is 2k23 the main menu you can load into my nba just like normal but this time when you load into my nba you create a slot or uh, like always and here we go it takes a second to load in the moment of truth is it's here okay eras we have the magic versus bird era there is four total eras we have the magic versus B bird we have the jordan era the kobe era and the modern era now most people are gonna be using the modern era but the new ones of course are the magic bird jordan and kobe today's video this video in specific is going to be focusing on the magic versus bird later today i probably drop jordan and then and the kobe as well followed by that but here's the magic versus bird era they have a description ready to experience the biggest rivalry in league history relive 1983 and then we have this little loading screen when you load it into this specific era, 1980s, man. Comment down below, which era do you think was the best in NBA history? I think 2010s is, is my, because I was, that's when I watched basketball. So for me, I'm kind of biased. And here is the setup for the association. Um, nothing much really to it, but here's the dope part, man. This is so realistic. There's only 23 teams because in the 1983 season, there's only 23 teams. So obviously you probably don't see some teams like the Wizards, um, and some other ones, but everything is so realistic. You guys are gonna see in a second. I was shocked, like very, very impressed by the 2K team for this. You can see the teams are accurate. It's not filler players like you would think. These are the accurate rosters. We have, you know, the, uh, if you look at the, the contracts too, the salary, you know, they're making 400K, 350K, not 3.7 million or 30 million. Everything is accurate, um, which is dope. It's little details I love about this game uh, so far, just off the bat, first impression. You know, the Bucks have Sidney Moncrief. Um, keep in mind, like I said, 1983. So, like, Jeff Ruland didn't know who he was. And I, like I said, I'm a basketball encyclopedia, and I didn't know who he was um, because this was, like, 20 years before I was born. Uh, we have Reggie Theus, who a lot of players you may uh, know from my team. If you play my team, you may be uh, familiar with these players. They will be free. The craziest hairline in NBA history. I can't talk. Larry Bird is a 97 overall. Like I said, this era is the Bird versus Magic, so 97 overall. But he's only making 650K, and Kevin McHale is making 1 million. So I was kind of confused there. Um, then we have Norm Nixon, who, he looks familiar. I think he's from the HBO Showtime, the Lakers Showtime show. I think he was on the Lakers. Um, and then we have the Hawks with Dominique Wilkins, a young Dominique, and then uh, Adrian Dantley. I'm just showing you guys the rosters for this specific era. The Kansas City Kings. I forgot, you know, the Kings were in Kansas City before, so that's dope. The detail, uh, the attention to detail is spectacular so far. Bernard King, then the best team, the Lakers. <laughs> they got Magic Johnson, Kareem, James Worthy, Michael Cooper, Bob McAdoo. They have a really good team. The Mavericks are cool. You know, a lot of these players, I, I'm not gonna, it's, it's nothing crazy. So I'm gonna show you guys, you know, kind of the main setup of this era, then later hop into some gameplay with, you know, some of the best players from this era, and you guys can see. I, like I said, I'm very impressed. And my Pistons right here, my Detroit Pistons, Isaiah Thomas is 92 overall, making 750k. We got Lambeer at 87 overall. This is the bad boy Pistons, bro. Not the full team, we don't have Dennis Rodman in them, but uh, with the era mode, you can progress as you go through the seasons, things will change uh, because that's how the mode is set up. The Suns are a decent team, 94 overall. The Supersonics have Jack Sigma, David Thompson. Uh, the Trailblazers have some, some, good, some good players, a young Clyde Drexler. Everything is so accurate, and it, it, it's dope to see. I know the, the, the my NBA, the My League players are going to love this mode. It's fresh. So I selected the Pistons. I'm going to select them for this video just to kind of run through. And here are some of the major changes happening in this era. So there's going to be five teams that are being added, or four actually. The Hornets, Heat, Magic, and Timberwolves. And then there's more physical play, and hand checking is allowed. So I said this in a previous video. It, it does get more physical, and they won't cause many fouls. There's the vintage 80s era presentation with the simple overlays. And then down below it says some teams that are added. And then it says zone defense is banned. 
which I think is cap because I'll show you guys later in this gameplay. I changed it to a 2-3 zone and it let me. So I don't know if it's a how accurate that statement is, but you know, the whole gist of it is dope. They're going for the authentic feel of the 1980s era. Can't complain. I get to use a 1984 draft class right here and they, ha they have it all accurate. And here is uh, the, the, the user interface, the AI, the, the UI. We have Isaiah Thomas, all our players, Bill Lambier, the cyber faces, the face cans are very nice, which I can really appreciate. 2K took the time with this one, you can tell. And uh, the first thing I did, you know, me being curious, I wanted to see, could I get away with trades right away? The reason I did that is because you gotta, you gotta think in the 1980s, players usually stood, uh, stayed with the same team for most of the time. They're not, you know, all over the place. So I wanted to see if they would let me just make trades right away. For Lambier, I was able to get some decent offers. Um, so it's not like you're, you're locked onto a team. Also, look at the expenses for player payroll. It's 4.183 million, meaning everything is accurate because back then that was a player uh, payroll. Now it's probably like, you know, 200 million. What else do we have? We have scouting. We got prospect scouting, the 1984 draft class with Michael Jordan, Kim Olajuwon, John Stockton, you know, all of them. Um, which, which is pretty dope. You know, they got all that already set up for this era. Now the first gameplay is gonna be Pistons versus the Celtics, and you can only have the two uniforms, bro. They really make this accurate. You can't have like the, the you know association, the, the current ones. It's only classic. And we are back with the presentation style of the 80s. Now there is one issue, not an issue, but like one thing I would prefer that you could have, which I'll mention right about now. You can't turn off the filter. In the Jordan challenges, you could turn off the retro filter so it's not grainy, like this. My eyes could only take it for so long, um, but you know, it's it, it's part of the mode. It makes it realistic, it makes it authentic. So I just wish you could turn it off if you wanted to, um, but it's no big deal. Now we are here starting off on offense with my Pistons in the Palace Auburn Hills, call for a pick a roll. And I'm trying to play smooth, you know, I'm not trying to force anything. All the gameplay that I'm be posting is gonna be on all-star difficulty. So I changed it to be more difficult, all-star difficulty. Make it our first lane with IT. You know, top five point guard of all time, in my opinion. If you know, you know. If you're a real basketball encyclopedia head like me, you would know. Right here in the paint, Bill Lambier backing out. Robert Parrish getting packed. <laughs> hey man, he gets physical. This is a good robbery team. Larry Bird pulling up for a horrible shot. But again, this is not the full Bad Boy Pistons team. Over the years, they stacked up and they got some better players. But I think uh, the one thing about this game, 2K23, off the bat, just in my opinion, look at that shot, by the way, fire. Um, this is gonna be a game that is gonna have a lot of replay value. I think people are gonna spend the most amount of time on this game just because of how well-rounded it is. Every mode is, it's like, it has so much like stuff in each mode, you can't get bored of the game. You know what I mean? It's dope. And I think them putting this much time in an offline game definitely goes to show how much they care. Look at Larry Bird for three. I never got used to his shot, but I hit one right there. Gotta show some Bird gameplay. I mean, this is his era at the end of the day. I'm spinning off the defender with the Larry Bird type move. That was clean. And Kevin McHale came off the bench. He was a sixth man. Pulling up for the missing, but perish. The Iron Man, is he Iron Man? He has something, he played like the most games or something, something like that. It's crazy, like seven footer. Bird again with the crossover moves between the legs. I'm trying to be smooth, but I can't get nothing to happen. Pulling up contested, it was a bad shot. I miss it. Then Isaiah Thomas pulling up for the midi. Clean shot by him. So like I said, I'm gonna have gameplay for uh, multiple teams, not just this, this game. Um, I'm gonna show you guys some of the best players from this era. If you are enjoying this video, do me a favor, man, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. We're gonna have more content. As soon as my career, the servers are on, I'll be posting it. Now we're moving forward to the Hawks and Dominique Wilkins, a young Dominique. I'm going to the paint and look at this dunk. Going baseline, man, slamming it down. Hanging on the rim for dramatic effect. And I'm sending some pressure, double teaming. And getting the foul call. Back again on defense. Isaiah Thomas going to the paint with the floater. He misses it. Spud Webb wasn't on this team. I looked for him, but he wasn't. Hold on, Dominique! Slamming it down again. He charged up, baby. But yeah, I'm excited for this my career mode. And look, you can't spam going the paint. That's my third time in a row, and I finally got stripped. 
as it should be. The, the, the CPU adjusted, the AI learned um, after the first two times. That guy's wide open, and he hit it. Next up, we have the Philadelphia 76ers. So this team has Julius Irving and Moses Malone, both 90 plus overalls. It was cool to use, man. We're playing some defense, some decent defense here. We got Moses, rest in peace to him, one of the best centers ever. I wish one thing too, uh, on the top right, I don't have it pulled up now, but when you can see your stats, your player stats and all that, I wish that was all, I have it right now on the top right. I wish that looked retro too, but uh, you know, I can't, 2K can't be perfect, but that would've been a cool little touch. Julius Irving with the ball right here. Calling for a good screen. I'm trying to get a dunk, but instead I get an and one lay. <laughs> I can't complain. A dunk would've been nice though. Bill Lambier complaining. Bill Lambier missing the lay. What you doing, bro? Dr. J with the ball. I wanted to get a signature layup, but instead I'm calling for a pick and roll. Moses setting a good screen, and I have no stamina, so I'm gonna pass it off, and I'm gonna slam it down. Look at that standing dunk animation. That, that was beautiful, bro. That's a great standing dunk animation. It was powerful. Next up, we have the San Antonio Spurs, who have George Gervin, the Iceman. I want to get some clean lace, some clean animations. So I'm going in, and I'm fading for the midi, and that's money. Now don't worry, guys. I'm gonna have some more gameplay with the eras, you know, throughout the whole year. Of course, this is just kind of like an introductory, showing y'all, um, you know, just some early footage of it. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying it. George Gervin again. Look at the moves, man. I can't force it, so I see Artis Gilmore. Everyone knows Artis Gilmore. I'm backing down Lambeer. I'm trying to make something happen, but Lambeer is, he's strong, bro. Look at this. Four. But yeah, I don't want to show every team because you don't really care for the Denver Nuggets back in 83, respectfully. Good steal by me, reading that, and I'm going in for an easy left hand lay. Next up, we have the long awaited Lakers. Magic vs. Bird, we get to finally use Magic, and this was probably the most fun. The court is amazing. Call for a pick and roll. Great screen with a physical screen. And Kareem with the easy lay over the defender. Now this right here was a great matchup because I mean in real life they were they were competing all the time. They're some of the two best teams in the, in, uh, or in, in the finals. Isaiah Thomas with a miss, but Lambier put it back up and in and look, there's an injury. Our first injury in 2K23. He's smack in the ground, bro. It's hurt. But again, this is the 80s. So they tough it up, man. They have to is that is that Mike Wayne? They gotta get tough. And he gets lifted up and he just shakes it off, bro, like a like a G. Because it's the 80s, man. They're not sitting down crying, complaining, and getting subbed out the whole game. I think he did get subbed out, but you get the point. I like that. I don't know if that was on purpose. I don't know if it was a coincidence, but it looked like a, a touch for the 80s era of them being tougher and not subbing out. Now here we go with Magic Johnson. I'm calling for some motion offense. You know, I want some movement around. You got uh, Michael Cooper with the ball. I see Magic Johnson, I'm looking at him. He gets wide open for the midi. I'm gonna pull it and I'm gonna hit it. It's what I do. <laughs> and that's enough gameplay for, for this era uh, video. I have some more gameplay with the Jordan Aaron next up. And the MVP is Larry Bird, averaging 28 points, eight and eight. Then we have Ralph Sampson as rookie of the year. I don't know if, if he was rookie there in real life, but that's, you know, it checks out. Defense player of the year, he was really good. Coach of the year, Casey Jones, former Celtics player. And my Pistons ended up getting the best record, or one of the best records, but nobody from the Pistons was in the all NBA first team, which is wild, or the second team, or the third team. Disrespectful, I don't get it. But uh, the Pistons ended up getting second, I believe, yeah. We got second in the entire Eastern Conference. So I simulated the playoffs, here's how it looks for the playoff tree. I simulated it, it simulated really fast, and we got eliminated in the Eastern Conference Finals by the Celtics, who won the championship, and of course, Larry Legend, averaging 31 points per game. He had himself a nice finals. And uh, yeah, that's about it, man. You know, he got an offer for 245K. It, it, it was dope. This is my first time playing the full version of the game. It was super dope. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We're gonna have more Eras gameplay, like I said today. My career gameplay, everything, bro. So if you haven't already, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. I'll catch y'all later, man. Peace.